Welcome to my switching routing and wireless essentials course. This should be the CCNA version 7 curriculum. This is the second of three courses. Welcome in this lab we're doing 15.6.1 configuring IPv4 and IPv6 static and default routes. So, uh, typical packet tracer, read through the objectives, read through the background, and let's go ahead and dive right into part one. This packet tracer network requires static routes, so we need to go ahead and configure them. So on edge router, configure a directly connected IPv4 static route. This primary default route should be through ISP1. So, we will be sending on our edge router. All right, edge router, get to our global configuration. Off key, we do an IP route, IP route. We are, to, uh, we are doing a static default route. So default routes are is quad zeros. And we are giving it the address to go to our ISP1, which is on the 10, 10, 10, 0 slash 30 network. So step one complete. Step two, on the edge router, configure a directly connected floating static default route to ISP2. It should have an AD of five. So again, IP route, quad zero, this is going to ISP2. Two, that's on the 10, 10, 10, 4 network. Check the address chart. That would be 10, 10, 10, dot 5. We're doing a weighted route, so space, give it the weight. That would be weight 5. So step 2 is now done. In this part of the activity, we're configuring IPv6 static routes. So I'm going to go ahead and back out of there. Part two, step one. On the edge router, configure the next hop static route. The primary default route should be through ISP1. So uh, what I have off my screen is I actually have this address chart off my screen so that I don't have to keep going back and forth. Made it a little bit easier. All right, so we're configuring Part two, step one, IPv6 route. That is tied to the 2001 colon DB8 colon A colon one colon colon one. 2001 db8 a colon one colon colon one and I forgot my quad zeros so that's going to be colon colon backslash zero again ipv6 route colon colon slash zero that's equivalent to our quad zero and we're sending it to 2001 db8 a colon one colon colon one same thing for the next step, so part two. Step two, configure the default route to go to ISP2. ISP2 is 2001 colon DB8 colon A colon two double colon one, and we're giving it an administrative distance of five. So we've now set our default static route and our weighted default static route. So part two, steps one and two are now done. Part three, configure IPv4 static and floating routes to the internal LAN. So step one, th part three, step one. On ISP1, configure next hop 
static route to the LAN 1 of the network router. We're also going to do the same thing for LAN 2. Alright, pay attention to LAN 1 and LAN 2. One's a slash 28, one's a slash 27. So again, we're doing part 3, step 1 on ISP 1. Get to our global configuration, conf t, IP route, we're doing 192.168.10.16, subnet 255.255.255.240, we're going to be sending that back to our edge router. That's for LAN 1. For LAN 2, IP route 192.168.11.32.224. And again, we're sending this back to 10.10.10.2. So that took care of three step one configure for one uh, LAN one and two. So the next step, part three, step two, on our on the ISP one router, directly connected floating static routes to LAN one through ISP two's router. And we're going to be using an AD of 5. So we're going to do two more static routes. But this time, if we cannot get to the edge router, we'll go to ISP2 and then to the edge router. So what we will do there is IP route. IP route. We will be going 192. I'm a little lazy. Do the up arrow. We'll be forwarding this out our gig interface. Give it away to five. Same thing with the second network. We'll go out gig zero, give it away to five. That way, if it cannot match the first route, it will try the second weighted route. So part three. Step two is now complete. Moving on is part four. Configure IPv6 static and floating routes for the internal LANs on ISP1. ISP1, we will do the next hop for both LAN1 and for LAN2. IPv6 route, we have 2001, EB8, colon 1 colon 10 colon colon slash 64 and that is going to be we're sending that to 2001 colon db 8 colon a colon 1 colon colon 2 that will be for our land 1 for our land 2 ibv 6 route 2001 db8 colon 1 colon 11 colon colon forward slash 64 and we are sending it out to that hop again the addresses are in the address chart they're also listed here so 2001, DB8, 1, network, 2001, DB8, 1.11, networks. I'm glad I uh, was talking. No, I messed up. That should be 1.11.
not two. It should be one ten and one eleven. Two thousand one DB eight one dot ten. Two thousand one DB eight one dot eleven. All right. So we've now done four step one. For step two is the same thing, but with our AD of five. So we're going to do those, and then we will go ahead and verify that part. So let's go ahead. IPv6. Actually, what I can do is I can do up arrow a few times. So IPv6 route 2001 db8 1.10. We're going to forward this out a different interface. It's going to be 2001 db8. This is going to go to interface F, F2. And we're going to give an AD of 5. I'm um, hit the up arrow. I'm going to get my dot one dot eleven network. That way I have both my uh, one dot ten network going to uh, two thousand one db eight ff colon colon two weighted five, and I have my one dot eleven network going to two thousand one db eight ff colon colon two space five with a weight of five. That way I've configured. Part four, step two. All right, so if you configure it as completed correctly, you should be able to ping the web server from the host on LAN one and two. If the primary link is down, connectivity between the LAN host and the web server should still exist. So I'm gonna ping from PCA to our web host. 198.0.0.10 First one should be an ARP request and then it should go through and it does so we are good there Last part part 5 configure host routes So part 5 step 1 on the edge router directly connected host routes to the customer service machine. So what we're going to do is we're going uh, IPv4 IP route one ninety eight dot zero dot zero dot ten all right, so IP route 192, no, sorry, 198.0.0.10, and put in its subnet mask. Again, we are doing a host route, so that should be all fives. Send it out serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. We're going to do another route, extending it out serial 0, 0, 001. This one will be weighted with five. Then so we've done part five, step one, A and B. Next, we're going to use the same thing on edge router, but IPv6. So what we will end up doing is IPv6 route 2001db8 colon F colon F colon colon 10 slash 128 we're going to forward that out 2001 BB 8 colon A colon 1 colon colon 1 that will be for our ISP 1 for ISP 2 I'm going to hit the up arrow get rid of the next hop and I'm going to go ahead and retype that in. 2001 ED8 colon A colon 2 colon colon 1 with a 5. 
because the link between Edge and ISP2 is 2001 colon DB8 colon A colon 2. So that's where I sent it. So we are done. Let's go ahead and check results. And we've completed it. All check marks. So we are good. Questions? Let me know.